Hello and welcome, this is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today we have a collaboration hop featuring products from Pink and Main, one of the Kendra's Card Challenge 13 super sponsors. Some members of the video team will be sharing projects made with products from Pink and Main using the Kendra's Card Challenge 13 sketches. And this is a giveaway hop, so stay tuned for details on how to enter and have a chance to win a digital download prize from me. Pink and Main offers several different monthly subscription options, with one of them being the Crafty Courtyard Kit. And I shared an unboxing video of the February 2024 kit a few days ago, so if you'd like to see the contents of the full kit, I will link that above. But this is the paper pad from the kit called Pop Flowers, and I selected six sheets of pattern paper that I'll be using with my current challenge number 13. If you're not familiar with my quarterly card making challenges, it's where you can create 15 cards with six sheets of six by six pattern paper using the cutting guides and card sketches provided in a free PDF digital download. If you join the challenge and post your cards on social media, you can have a chance to win over $1,000 in prizes from 20 different companies, including Pink and Main. They have generously donated three prize packs for monthly prizes, as well as a quarterly gift certificate. For more information about the challenge, I will link the Challenge 13 introduction video above and in the description box below, which explains more about it and how to enter. Off camera, I cut up the six papers according to the cutting templates, and I also cut all of my layers and decided how to decorate my cards, and I have them all sorted in these clear bags here. I won't be sharing all of the cards that I made with this kit, but I will share a fun fold card that I made using sketch number seven. Now this sketch is by Alicia with Call Me Crafty Al, the creator of Sheetload of Cards. It's one of her past sketches. So if you're not familiar with Sheetload of Cards, I'll link her YouTube channel below also, so you can check that out. I'm going to rotate this sketch to be landscape and it's gonna be a tri-fold card. So I need to cut the third piece that will be attached to the card base. The measurement on the sketch says that the layer should be two and a quarter by five and a half. And since I'm making this a tri-fold, I need to cut a strip to measure two and a quarter by 11 inches. And then I'll score it at five and a half inches. And I'll be adding this to the inside of the card to open to the right. So next I cut the layer to go behind the blue butterfly rectangle piece. And then I cut a four by five and a quarter inch layer to go on the inside to cover up the strip that will be glued down later. Now while I glue the pieces down, I'll tell you how to enter the giveaway for this hop. For a chance to win a digital download from me, you'll complete the form that's linked in the description box below, and then hop along and watch the other videos in the playlist. You can complete the form for each video that you watch for more chances to win. I'm sure you will see lots of card making inspiration from the super talented card makers on the team. Now that I have my card base ready, I'm going to stamp out my focal point. I'm using the Butterfly Sketches stamp set that I've had in my stash. I thought this went perfectly with the papers and the sentiment stamps that came in the February Crafty Courtyard kit. I will have a list of all the supplies that I use to make this card down in the description box, along with links in case you're interested in purchasing any of these items. Now these are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. And this helps to support my channel. I've cut out the butterflies and an additional white layer of the three that I'll be using along the top of this flat piece. And I'm adding glue to the bottom portion of these butterflies. Now for my sentiment, I'm using the Take Care sentiment from the Take Care stamp set that came in the Crafty Courtyard kit. And I'm popping this up with some foam tape for some dimension. Next, I added some touch of gloss to the centers of the butterflies and also on top of the entire sentiment just to make it shiny. And I also added three blue sticky pearls from the kit to the heads of the butterflies. Now I could add another sentiment or image behind this flap, which I will do at a later time, but I mainly just wanted to show you how you can convert this sketch into a fun fold card. And I think this turned out really pretty. It's quick and easy and I love these colors together. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. 
Remember to enter the giveaway for this hop for a chance to win a digital download from me. You'll need to complete the form that's linked in the description box below by February 16th of 2024. The winner will be randomly chosen and announced on my community tab. So make sure you're a subscriber and have those notifications turned on so you don't miss any of my posts. There's still plenty of time to join the challenge this quarter. You have until March 31st of 2024 to get photos of your cards uploaded to enter for a chance to win lots of prizes. For more information, visit KendrasCardChallenges.com to get all of the details. I'd like to thank Michelle with Pink and Main for being such a generous prize sponsor and for sending the team some products to create with. Pink and Main has been a sponsor since challenge number three, so I really appreciate her generosity as well as all of the company prize sponsors. I'd also like to thank my patrons shown here. Patrons receive extra benefits and perks as part of my membership program. For more information, visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's Card Challenges. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the hop. I hope to see you again soon and have a wonderful day.